Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing episode, and actually a very special episode of the Brave Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm your host, Jenna Rodriguez, and I am your business and brave strategist, helping entrepreneurs to speak up and scale their businesses, unleash their natural talents, and ultimately meet up with their greatest potential. So that's what I'm all about. And these three ladies are going to help us do exactly that. This is going to be a great episode. What I want you to know is we're actually celebrating a, a very important day today, which is the International Women's Day, which is March 8th, celebrated every year. And, um, and what better show and better uh, group of ladies to do just that. And so we'll, we'll dive into what does that mean for them and what does that mean for you. So it's really a time to reflect on um on the meaning of that and uh, we want to be a part of that conversation today so again i'm so excited to be a part of this and uh and bring you three very special guests this is debbie saviano joe and stacy how are you guys great you? thank you jenna you're so welcome so first and foremost they're wondering who you are and what magic do you bring to the world so if you guys could just introduce each yourselves individually and uh, and certainly collectively what you guys are doing together um, that would be amazing so let's start with Debbie so Debbie Saviano and uh, I started my career in education and loved education left that and became a social media strategist met Stacy and Stacy and Linda and I started women's leadership live and we are on the lead <clears throat> pardon me the lead lift launch women in business tour around the country We've been on the road for four weeks and it, wow. it comes this weekend with International Women's Day. And so that's what we're all here doing together. Amazing. Yeah, that's how you and I met. We met in the social media arena and, and networking here in Houston, Texas. So uh, well, amazing. We connected because of social media. Completely. Yes. You do your job well, let me tell you. <laughs> Joe, how about you? Introduce you. I'm Joe Packham, and I'm the editor in chief of four best selling magazines. Where Women Create Work, which is the one that's celebrating International Women's Day. I also have Where Women Cook, Where Women Create, and What Women Create. It's very difficult to remember <laughs> them all. <laughs> I've been in publishing for 43 years, and wow. um, books for about 25, and magazines for about 12. And the reason you've never met me is because I'm not on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Just an FYI. But <laughs> well, you guys met via social, social media. media. Yeah, we did. And we did. I have people who do social media. <laughs> she has people. <laughs> there you go. See, there's, there's the magic right in the middle there. <laughs> I got people. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stacy Shefflin. I'm the founder and uh, cook and bottle washer, pick, pack, wrap, and strapper of YBF Beauty, Models Prefer. I've had two color cosmetic brands on QVC and HSN and nine networks around the world, uh, 28 countries, very blessed to do what I do using t live TV as my platform. It's always been about, for the three of us, sharing with women beauty from the inside out. And that's what we yeah. do with our cosmetic brands on television. And Debbie and Joe and I now are carrying the torch for Women's Leadership Live across the nation. And what we're doing is to empower, support, lift up women, women and launch them and their businesses through print, television, social media, and we have a radio uh, partner. And now we're with the podcast partner. So we're yes. 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 Got the and we got package. it all covered now with, with Jen and podcasts. So we're perfect. Yes. I am. I'm so excited to be a part of your conversation and what you guys are up to. And, you know, of course, I met Debbie years ago and, and she has, you know, spoke so highly of, of what you guys are doing. And it's just been really awesome to meet you, uh, Joe and Stacy as well. So, um, so let's talk about the women's. So just to kind of give people that um, inside view of what International Women's Day means to you guys, uh, what would you say is, is so important about that? So basically, we have three things we're focusing on. The first one is a special issue here because Joe has highlighted 22 entrepreneurs. That's so awesome. for us, International Women's Day is all about female entrepreneurs and the 12 million U.S. small business owners, female in this country. So it's about women in business, if you will. That's our focus. Yes. Yeah, I and love that. Letting them know that it's time for them to scale their business, to come out of maybe just being that small uh, business that they started. Remember what we used to call them cottage born businesses? Yeah, cottage -born. It was small. <laughs> now it's time for them to really get out, be in brick and mortar, get on e commerce platforms, be on shopping television, and have a group of women that will help take them there. 
because none yeah. of us can do anything on our own. International yeah. Women's Day is about all of us coming together and supporting and lifting each other up. I love that. And I, um, and I second all of that. I think, you know, I, I love that you call it cottage, <laughs> cottage boutique, um, what have you, but it's like, when are you, you know, it's like the question to ponder, I think, in our women's minds, those listening and watching is, are you, when are you ready to build that empire? And when are you going to step into it? Because it's waiting for you and you can't do it alone. That's why we're here today, right? Is to really, um, in, you know, kind of infuse the women watching and listening and saying, listen, don't try to do it alone. Lean on people, reach out, connect and, uh, and collaborate, which is what I think you guys have done so brilliantly is you guys are very successful individually, but the fact that you could come together and create this movement is, I just think is brilliant. So uh, congratulations on that. Well, Jenna, thank you so much. And in, in respect to that, I'm going to move uh, Joe out of the way for a second and just let you see our schedule of events. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. This, this is our calendar here of all the Wow. The three of us started on February 5th in New York. We went to, uh, and Joe was awarded the number one magazine in the, in the world globally uh, above Hearst, Condé Nast, uh, Meredith Publishing, all the big publishing wow. companies for this because it's an augmented uh, reality cover. It comes to life when you use your smartphone and it tells you how to do it on the inside. Amazing. So he's yeah. been noted from print to digital, all in, and no one's ever done it in publishing. But we started when she got the award there in New York. Then we went to Museum of the Bible. We were Jackie Green. Her and her husband are the family founders, the whole entire family of Hobby Lobby and of Museum of the Bible. <clears throat> you can imagine that's a big deal. Unbelievable. We went, to, um, we went out to Google. We were Google. at their headquarters. It was incredible. Everybody should have an opportunity to work like those people do. <laughs> <laughs> Free, Free snack bar. Free snack bar. We love that place. And nice. Our partner, World Market, and did a whole uh, promotion out there at World Market headquarters and some of their stores, and that was incredible. We have a collaboration with them. We're launching in 281 stores on March 8th with four of our brands plus Joe's oh five products. We'll have its own kiosk. We have 70 ambassadors that we'll show you in a moment. They're going to be in all the stores around the country doing Facebook Lives. We went to San Francisco to St. Mary's College and did an amazing thing with young all women. All women entrepreneurs and small business owners. Then the White, awesome. Sox, White Sox invited us to Chicago. We were blessed to go to the stadium and had another 200 people, entrepreneurs there. Then we went to HSM. We were on 30 hours straight with YBF products, our product line. Wow. And then we were in Dallas and we did City Group this morning. The Chamber of Commerce here in Irving brought us to City Group and we had 200 uh, employees, oh, least, their yeah, career, employees. and they syndicated it out simulcast, simulcast it globally to about to all their employees around thousands the around the globe for, today, yes. for, for Women's International Day. Women's Day. So that was incredible. And uh, our next stop is we're going to Florida one more time for HSN. The gals go to Phoenix. And in Phoenix, we're going to be at a transformational on, conference with Liz Dawn. And she's going to have 1,500 women in the room all getting recharged and transforming their lives to get started up in their businesses again. And tomorrow, oh, man. And you with Anna Rodriguez. So literally, each day comes and we have to ask, where are we? And what day is it? <laughs> on the road for four weeks since yeah. March, since February 5th. February 5th. So we're so honored to be on your podcast yes. during yeah. the day of International Women's Day. Thank you so much. Yeah. Unbelievable. You guys are freaking rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. been incredible. It's been a great journey and we've loved meeting so many incredible yeah entrepreneurs and career women in yes. corporate offices yeah. all across the nation radio stations we've done tv networks photo shoots so, so it's been our dream jenna it's been our dream wow. it really has we humbled yeah i mean i think you know here's the thing but i always talk about the brave the brave way right braving your way through this life and uh and what is required of everything you guys just shared is the spark of in inspiration and the spark of curiosity it's the, that's the first thing that, that Brave uh, begins with, right? Is being able to listen fo and follow. Being able to take, listen to your gut and follow through. And I just believe like you, you guys have created something, but it didn't start out of thin air. It started with an inspired thought. And then you guys just made decisions, you took action and you committed to it over and over and clearly over and over and over um, <laughs> with your calendar. Um, and I just want to like emphasize that everything that, you know, our audience is watching and listening and all the women that you're speaking to anything grand starts with that one spark. That's it. 
And you guys, I mean, I know you guys have actually collaborated for quite a few years now. And um, for you guys to bring this to life and then really keep celebrating women and celebrating business ownership and all of that, I think is just one more testament to you taking that spark and doing something with it. Every single one of us has the spark. It's whether or not you do something, right, that's brave. So I just really can appreciate that in every single one of you. It's like Jen, like, Jen, like you, we all talked about the other day when we talked to you on the phone. You're yeah. Such inspiration to so many women, and so many women look to you, look up to you because you have been brave, and you've, you've, you've beat all the odds, and you continue to bring and champion women along with you, and, yes. and you're a woman of service, so that's why all it all comes tenfold and circles back around, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh, tenfold, twentyfold, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love that. And so let's talk a little bit about, obviously my show is about brave. So I would love to know your definition of brave um, individually. How about you, Debbie? So we, on this, on this tour we've been on, it's been fascinating to see how women have been hesitant, if you, what you mm -hmm. alluded to a moment ago, hesitant to always step into it. So give an example, we actually only started planning this. Joe started the magazine last August, literally, that's wow. how quick this was. We started planning this tour, but right after Thanksgiving. So it's been a very short project. Right. Women would think, oh, I can't do it. They'd be hesitant to be like, oh, I got to wait and do this, this, and this. No, just jump in there and do it. So for me, bravery is about not, you know, listening to your gut. Yeah. Surround yourself with women who you know are going to support you and have the same values. And, and just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Joe's worried she's going to wake up in the wrong city. We're going to be somewhere else, but that's not <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in Dallas and they're going to be in Florida. <laughs> We've already like, like seven cities sure. and she's still with us. So. You're still hanging in there. So and she's like, I think I missed my flight. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a team. It takes, it totally takes a team. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, stop hesitating, right? Follow the gut and just get into action. I love that. What about you, Joe? Um, I think you, to be brave, you have to believe in yourself, right? Yeah. Because we all doubt ourselves more than anyone else, I think, sometimes. And um, so I think true bravery is, is believing that what you think is right and worth doing and worth mm -hmm. following through on, even when everybody else says, you know, it's time to go get a real job now. Right. <laughs> Those kinds of things. You know, that kind of yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my mother used to say, do you really have to go to work every day? <laughs> <laughs> right? So you just have to keep believing in yourself. Yeah, I love that. And Stacy. And when you do that, you live the life you dream. Yeah. And then you find out, wow, did I dream big enough? Because when things yes. start to happen and you're like, wow, why was I so hesitant about that? We did a... a, a a speaking engagement the other day and one of the young ladies said on the panel I went and bought a car and a guy told me in my 20s I should you're gonna make all your mistakes and you know whatever and then in, this is the car salesman yeah, this, this is just pricey. goes to prove where you can learn from any and every person you ever meet and Debbie always right. being a life learner and um, he says and then in your 30s you've kind of made all your mistakes this is the time for you to get out now and blaze which we were saying, blaze your trail, make your right. difference, make it right now, because you don't know what tomorrow will hold. In our 30s, that's when we do it. And I thought when she said that has stayed with me for multiple years as a young woman to blaze. So it's like you're brave, but if you think about be brave and go out and blaze it, just yeah. every day light your world on fire and don't accept no and just keep, you know, when people tell you no, they just really mean maybe. You're going <laughs> to yeah. <laughs> you're gonna ask them again in a couple of weeks until they see the same uh concepts you see in your head and, and say yeah i want to be on board i think what you're laying yeah. doing or what your job is or what your creation or innovation is uh, or your promotion is i believe in you too i'm going to give you that opportunity i love that yeah no just means they're afraid yes it's not you right it's not about you and so if it's true for you and it's your yes then there shouldn't be any you shouldn't be listening to any no's um but lean in to support like you guys are creating for women right and and of course myself as well and something else i i always say and i think i may have mentioned to this in our conversation before but i always look at it as being the artist instead of the canvas of your life right that's what brave is about right yeah, yeah. Yeah. and 
you know, not just, you know, laying back, being hesitant, waiting for things to show up, but actually create it for yourself, be the artist, be the painter and, um, and deliver on it. And I, I do believe that's what brave is all about. I think it's about facing yourself and facing your truth, despite everyone else. And honestly, it has a ripple effect. And that's what you're, I think you're up, you guys are up to is when you guys lead and you stand in your truth and you guys show up the way you're showing up, then it gives permission for everybody else. And, uh, and of course, that's all I'm committed to is, is working through my own stuff, whatever that stuff is. Yeah. Trust me, I had a little stuff yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, I've got some big changes happening. You're young yet. You wait until you're our <laughs> age. You got a lot of stuff later to be <laughs> dealing with. <laughs> we say the same thing. We say, um, beauty is inside and you just need to bring it out and make your yeah. world beautiful around you. And when you do that and be of service to people, that all comes to fruition. So exactly what you're saying. That's we right. totally believe what you're doing is incredible. Yeah, thank you. And vice versa, for sure. Ditto. So um, I always like to dig a little deeper because I, I know people get on the show uh, and they go, well, that's great for them. <laughs> you know, I'm not them. I don't have what they have. You know, I don't have these long careers of all these accolades. And I'm like, for real, you know, like that, this is, this is not the real stuff, right? The, the facade. And so can you give us a little glimpse into some of the, the challenges that you guys have had to come through and of course overcome either in your career or in this collaboration that you've created. So I don't know who wants to start. Joe's got some great stuff. Come on, Joe. <laughs> yeah. So uh, horrifyingly enough, my career started 43 years ago. And yeah. so um, I've been on top twice. I've been on the bottom twice, lost everything. I'm really yeah. hoping this third round I go out on top. <laughs> but uh, we these, are, guys, we are. these guys are going to help me. Right. Right. We all are. Yes. Yeah. And um, unlike these two, I can't seem to find the perfect guy. I've been single all <laughs> my entire adult life. But I have two wonderful children who have um, grown mm -hmm. up and been very successful in spite of me. <laughs> and I, I mean, I love my career. It is my passion. And um, you, fight the, you fight the fight, the good fight, right? Yeah. Sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. But I think as creatives and as entrepreneurs, we always come back. We always have one more idea mm -hmm. that we think right. this time it's going to, it, and we truly believe it. I mean, oh, yeah. and, and I have to say, in all transparency, that every single time has been better. Every single time I, the bottom fell out and I had to start over, you have that background and all that knowledge and, and security yeah. and all of that. So you build something better than you ever dreamed before because you have to. You yeah. Have to options you can use. i got a job at starbucks <laughs> <laughs> i love it it's your coffee I addiction for a job at starbucks now i never did work there but i got hired, <laughs> I got hired and i was waiting for my training so you know there are many options she that just shows how humble joe is she's got a city like her whole day in ogden where she's from they have joe packham, joe day, packham day mayor oh. senator congressman they all wow him. Well, she's done so much uh, community service and, and yeah. really lifted up her area and built a whole art center around her city. So she's done well some deserved. amazing things, but it just goes to show she wasn't afraid to say, okay, I've hit rock bottom and I need to go out and get a J-O-B. Yeah. I mean, right. I'll put burgers, I'll pump gas, I'll do Starbucks, all kind of the same. <laughs> it's all I had work. anxiety over frappes. <laughs> 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 but you know i was going to overcome she was she, yeah. willing to try anything and everything i think that's what we're all about most women are you know we don't know no we just keep going yeah. or don't going. quit right yeah nothing ever ever shows up quicker by quitting <laughs> we're not going to get there faster by quitting yeah. um, yeah, and yet you can pivot right you can work at starbucks if you need to Humility um, is a wonderful thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that transparently. I've heard, certainly had my ups and downs myself, right? Um, you know, with a failed business, the first business failed and bankrupt, you know, and it's like, it happens, but it's all in how you respond, yes. you know, and you're right. I love that, you know, we don't lose what we know. We only can gain more of what we don't know, right? And, and flip that around. And, and therefore we take that into our future endeavor, whatever that is. So get the spark of idea, spark of inspiration, and then run with it again. 
Um, and how about you, Debbie or Stacy? One of you want to share? I think that the, the thing that would, would come for us, and for some it's going to seem like it's not a big deal, but Linda and Stacy and I started this business together and had yeah. an amazing two years doing events, going around the country, really making a powerful impact. And then Linda got called to the White House from President Trump. So on wow. some I think, oh, that's a nice problem to have. But Stacy and I had to regroup and say, okay, we've lost our Linda, uh, who, who's given us an amazing- She was our CEO. Yeah, CEO and founder. Right. Well. And she, we used to call her genius because she truly is. And because she's come from the, you know, double, you know, basement with her husband, Vince, to build WWE and then to right. come to leadership live. So for us to have to regroup and have to analyze what is it we want to do. And that was kind of a scary moment for sure. us because we weren't sure. And so we regrouped and came back to home, if you will, with Stacy with HSN. But on the surface, that looks like that was easy. But there were a lot of heart wrenching discussions and conversations about what are we going to do now? How are we going to build one's leadership life? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we learned a lot about putting things into perspective. Yes. Um, yeah, for sure. A good thing for us, uh, that emotional intelligence that you gained that you didn't have before about how are you going to handle it? Are you going to look at the glass half full or half empty, which we always have always looked at all of it yeah, half full, full and right. half empty. But then we had to step back and say, you know, Linda was such a huge draw for us. You know, yes. she, 30 years as the CEO of WWE, does about right. $2.5 a year in revenue on a subscription model basis. Um, she grew and took a company public. She did all the licensing for WWE, and Vince was all the talent. So we had such an amazing businesswoman act with acumen and all the, the intelligence she had around us. And we're like, we could have given up yeah. and thought, oh, my gosh, we're never going to be able to do this on our own. But she said, you guys can do anything with or without me there. Now we still have our Sunday night calls. We were like, where were you going? Help me, Linda. <laughs> on Air Force One tomorrow because she's traveled all over the country. She's all the head of the Small Business Administration. Wow, she's yeah. Traveled, she's got all 50 states plus District of Columbia, so 51 locations she's visited. Yeah, and first time ever. And she, First time an SBA administrator's ever done it. And she has $65 billion at her reach. For yeah. small businesses around and Amazing. small businesses around the nation, and that's what her whole mission's been. So it's not like she's stepped away so much from what we're doing. Her thing is about helping small businesses. Right. Our thing is about helping small businesses. So we all have so much every week to talk about. But the yeah. thing, interesting thing, and if she were sitting here, she'd say because she says it's just all the time. She's so proud of us, what we've accomplished. So bringing now collaborating with Joe and having the magazine and having us all do this together things happen we wouldn't have planned this two years we had no, no idea two years ago no, this was going to happen absolutely but god not. has a way of making things come together absolutely to yeah. linda had to step down so i could step <laughs> up <laughs> can you move out of the way linda how absurd is that we love you, Linda. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Her 43 years of business yeah, sense is just as brilliant as what Linda's learned, taught us. So, we learn every, uh, day. every day we learn something from one another. I think that's what keeps us all together, and we we we, we spark off each that's other. Right. We really ignite as you when can we tell, we're 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 together. Time. So, we're having a good time. Having the time. Yeah. Life, yeah. I love that. And I, and I do appreciate you guys sharing that because I think, you know, it does, it appears to be non-consequential or something easy to go through. And I've just had to shift some of my partner business partnerships and it was highly emotional for me. Like, I mean, like really, really hard because uh, there's a friendship and there's, you know, love and there's, you know, respect and all that included. And yet it's like, what's right for me? What's, what, what do I need to do? But what I saw in your share was that, when things change, change, and some and someone or a partner follows their truth, then the next thing opens up. Regardless, it's for you, not against you. It's right. you know right. And I think uh, you know if, even if you're not in a partnership, even if if you're by yourself in a business and you're the CEO or what have you, and you've got things happening circumstantially, I think it's just so imperative that people really per put all of that in perspective. And I have to go through it just like the rest of you. You know, it's like we have to like move through these things. Um, but not hesitate because we're afraid of them, you know, and I think that's one of the things that I, um, even myself, it's like, I create my vision, but then I'm like, well, what's beyond that vision? You know, like, okay, if I had all the, if I had what I envision now, what would then be the vision? You know, it's like to try to stretch and, and, and dream bigger. Um, and then there's this part where I just have to surrender. So what part of your lives or your experience in business has surrender played? 
Mm, that's tough. Well, and like letting go, you know, like really trusting, right? And you said it earlier, Debbie, like following your gut with faith and, you know. And I think, I think because well, a couple of things, first of all, because of the age that, mm. that we're at in our life, we're not as fearful because we've kind of let that in the past. We've yeah. Realized, Experience helps. To worry about is your health and independence. That's it. You have your health. Everything else is up to you and you can control your destiny, if you will. So shy of that. I don't think there is any. And I think that we've been very fortunate to, to follow our hearts and our guts and to have, we have faith. And so yeah. I know it sounds yeah. crazy, but when you have faith, I think you don't worry about some of that as much. Yeah. Cause yeah. then you're, you're authentic to yourself. Yeah. You, at this age, we kind of all know ourselves, and or if you're, if we don't know everything, we're still learning about ourselves. but we're open to the possibilities of opportunities. I think we are guarded with that yeah. fear when we're younger yeah. and we have so much to lose. We've got the kids, the house, our jobs, everything. Right. There's so much, yeah. but as we mature, we, you keep just those things in perspective. you want to keep it in perspective that now is your time and take advantage of uh -huh. every opportunity. We, we never turn down a great dream. We see someone dreaming. We just want to yeah. help support that dream and make it just like flourish. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Cause I think the time is now, right? It's not about hesitation. It's not about waiting for the pr preparation. Like, what is that? <laughs> you know, and there's no, that, you'll never do it. Cause we're never a hundred percent. It's yeah, like young couple gets married. They want to have the house and the yard and the dog before they have the baby, because they'll be settled. There is no settled. You know, or have enough money before I do all that. Money, yeah, You'll never good. have no. what you think you need to do what you want to do. You don't know all yeah. the possibilities that happen. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that, and I think that's the kind of the an amazing message for especially today, International Women's Day, is to celebrate women, but also celebrate their capability of of like living full out like truly stepping into that. So, um, so this has been amazing. I'm like, uh, we could talk all day. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, but, um, in closing, first and foremost, where can they connect with you? I want to make sure they have, have your access, your websites or whatever. So go to womensleadershiplive.com, scroll to the bottom and sign up for our community and for where women create. It's just wherewomencreate.com. Yeah. Go there and sign awesome. up as well and follow us on social media, women's leadership live or where women create. Cause Joe, her primary is under what women create. That's right. the best place to connect because all the magazines are there. Uh, under right. that. Yeah. Perfect. 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 And, um, and I always like to close with this question. Uh, so individually, I'd love for you to, to share, uh, if this was your very last, uh, you know, interview, um, the ability to, to be seen, um, last stage that you could actually share a message from, if this was it, what would that message be? Debbie? Mine is always the same because I believe it and I've believed it my whole life. Uh, you only walk this journey once. God gave us gifts, skills, and talents. Use them. Because otherwise, I think we do a disservice to our being here on this earth. And I take great responsibility. And, and you know, I think it was Irma Brombeck saying, you know, I want to skid in on all, you know, just skid in. And every bruise I have is there because I gave it all I had. Yeah. That, that would Love be it. Love it, Joe. Hmm. I think mine would be to um, to pick a mantra, if you will, or a saying or something that when you're afraid or whatever it is that you can follow, and mine happens to be, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? Yeah. And it puts everything in perspective for me. I've given it to everyone, all my children, and I have it on my uh, desk and stuff because you'll do anything if you, if you think you'll succeed. Yeah, right. So if you forget about the fact you might fail, you'll try lots and lots of things that you might not. Try. I love that. I love that. That's good. It's awesome. Stacy? I think uh, continue to be curious. Mm -hmm. We lose that curiosity. We don't step, like you say, into our own truth. And when we lose the curiosity, we don't get to see all the things God has for us. And there's such a big plan out there. If you just have faith and like Joe and Debbie said, have no fear, just brave and brave and just get out there and do it. And don't wait for some, don't ask permission. Yeah. Be empowered enough to know that it's expected of you and just be curious and go get what you want. I love it. 
I love it. You guys are so brilliant and I'm so like honored and blessed. <laughs> I appreciate it. I just am like, I feel very overwhelmed with gratitude to know you now. So well, you do realize that we're on your podcast and you're not on ours, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're honored to be with we, you. Yeah, we would exactly. like you to know how honored we are. We right? appreciate you so much. So much. I know. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> it's a it's a two way street, right? I love it. I love it. So thank you so much. Thank you for celebrating this special day with um, International Women's Day, and of course, just celebrating daily with you guys of what you're up to and what you're creating. And um, and for everyone listening, you guys, just I hope you take an inspiration, a spark from this conversation and do something with it. It does, it's just a waste of time and energy if you don't move forward on it So and, and take some action. Uh, but until next time and until next episode, let's go get our brave on. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you.